Hi, Cassie from Elementor here. Today we're going to learn about inline positioning in Elementor. We'll learn how to align elements side by side in the same column, control an element position, and use custom width to align your inline elements. Let's dive in. Here I'm working with a pre-made design, but as you can see, it's not entirely finished. In the first section, we have two buttons in the same column. We want our buttons to align side by side. Let's do it. Click the button, and under Advanced, Custom Positioning, click the Width dropdown, and choose Inline. Now let's do the same to the second button. Cool, easy peasy. Over to the next example. We have four columns hosting two inline widgets, a heading widget and a text editor widget. With Vertical Align, we can control the position of our widgets to the center, start, and end. End is perfect for this design. So let's right-click and copy-paste style for the rest of the widgets. Awesome! Moving on to our next section. Let's add our services features here, just below the text. So drag in an image box widget, and let's change our image. Remove the title, and paste in some text. In the Style tab, change the image width to 40%. Under Content, align to the left. In Advanced, Custom Positioning, change the width to Custom and set it to 30% of the column width. Now, right-click and duplicate twice and change our images and text. Our design is all set. Let's check it out. Looks phenomenal. Inline positioning saves you loads of time and simplifies your workflow. Don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more fun videos and tutorials. Catch you later.